Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kom Yasha Allah, Koholimla, Yahweh, Bahasim Yahushai, Bahasim Rechaha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well in that body spirit. Taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to take the waters for the Aki and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahasim Yahushai to the best of your ability. This is Jahana Nawa. It's coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, let me start with this Sirach 13 and 14 before we get into the lesson here. It says, Love the Lord all thy life and call upon him for thy salvation. So that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. Loving the Lord with all because the scripture talks about um with all the mind, heart, and soul. And and we try to do that on a day-to-day -day basis, you know. So the reason why I'm bringing this up. Is because we're coming into a stage where, hey, this MOTB is about to be implemented. And you want to be set in your mind. And be praying to you, how about you? I was shy that you are set in your mind. You know, that's very important. We can't stress prayer enough, man. Scripture says pray without ceasing. And, um, you know, we have to pray for endurance. We have to pray for the strength. To, to, to move about because the Lord, it, hey, there's nothing we can do without the Lord. You know? We understand that this is about the elect of Israel, but we don't know who the elect of Israel are. We don't know who those people are. We don't know who are part of the elect. That's the reason why we say um, the hopeful elect. And so it's important to, to constantly trust on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And when I say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for new um, listeners or someone that may have not heard this type of message before as far as bible teaching this is not your normal christian bible teaching now we teach the bible the way that it's supposed to be taught through our apostles elders and bishops on down you know um the 100 truth of gms we teach the bible the way that the lord and and wanted it to be taught in these last days because white jesus christianity is is idolatry so when i say yahweh bahashim yahweh shai I'm saying Yahweh, that's the true name of the Father, which means he exists with the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. Bahashem is in the name. So we pray to the Father in the original Paleo-Hebrew name, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. We don't call on Jesus. There is no Jesus in the Bible. Because when the Lord was walking the earth, there was no English. There was no letter J back then. And you can't just come up with what you want to come up with and call him what you want to call him and think that that's going to work in these last days. So when it comes to your salvation, as far as this scripture, you have to know that your salvation is going to come through Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy? And this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, because you are the true Hebrew Israelites. You are the people that the Lord are dealing with. And, you know, a lot of our people are not going to get it. They're not going to want to get it. We've always had rebellious people within our nation. That goes all the way back to coming out of Egypt with Moses all the way up to today. So there are going to be those people that are going to just be corrupt. They're just going to be who they are, man. You know, and you can't make them come out of what they're doing. That goes for family members. That goes for your mom, your dad, your sisters, your brothers, your aunties, your uncles. It doesn't make no difference because there's going to come a time. And I was just listening to uh, this brother. Can't think of his name right off, but um, he does educational videos. I love his videos. But um, he was going off into, you know, uh, if you love your mother, your brother, or your, your 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 father or your mother, you know, roughly paraphrasing that scripture. If you love them over the Lord, or even yourself, if you love yourself over the Lord, you through. The Lord is not going to be dealing with you, man. You, you're going to be destroyed. If you're you have to give up all the bullshit that's within your life. That's why when you go into uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 11 and 12, it talks about um, that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. It says the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore um, cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. So you have to put off all the bullshit that you went to. You have to, you have, you got to throw the damn music career to the side, man. 
You got to throw the, the acting career to the side or that, oh, I want to be famous bullshit to the side and, and take up this cross. That's really what's going on. You got to do that, man. You really got to do that. Because other than that, that, oh, I just want to make it. Nah, man. Look, get, leave that shit alone. I, I was there. I, I was at that that point in life like a lot of us are. I mean, a lot like a lot of us was before we came into this truth. We all had ambitions of wanting to do something. Because, you know, Jake got that, that mindset of entertainment. Because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, when he placed us in slavery, that's all we know. He's fucking entertaining his ass. You know? We don't think of higher level thinking shit. We don't use this magnificent brain that the Lord gave us, you know what I'm saying, through the spirit to do anything other than what the, um, the enemy has, uh, he, he has forced us into only entertaining him. He, he, he doesn't want you to think that you're anything other than um, a goddamn dancer or a basketball player or a football player. No, we are princes of the power. Yashallah in the Hebrew tongue. That's the name of our, um, um, you know, our, our, our nation. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Jacob's name was changed into Israel or Yahshua Allah in the Hebrew tongue, which means that we are princes of the power. And Esau, he doesn't want us to know that. He waters us down. He gives us some bullshit. You know, he keeps um, keep your damn Hulu channel full. He keep your Netflix channel full. He keep you, you know, um, entertained. Like right now, my family sitting down. They were just just can't wait. I'm talking about the ongoing cycle. Motherfuckers been doing this shit for decades. Same shit for decades. Sitting down watching a goddamn game. College come in. They watch that bullshit. You know? NFL come in. They watch that bullshit. NBA come in. They watch that bullshit. Olympics come in. They watch that bullshit. So this man got bread and circus for you year round. And that's all he wants you to know about. He don't want you to know about shit else. And then from there, He'll give you your news. He'll give you your local news. You know what I'm saying? Who got shot? This, that, and the third. Or he's going to, you know, he'll keep you bogged down with some shit about Diddy. Or, or some shit about, you know, what next actor done passed away or died. But guess what? Those actors that passed away or died, hey, they, they in the spirit world. They looking down on this motherfucker like, hey, I wish I could let them know. I wish I could let my family members know. It's just like um, James Earl Jones died, 93 years old. He's damn near 100 years old. He got to heaven and, and, and forgot all about all that shit. He's like, man, let's, probably like, you know, <laughs> let me let my family members know down there, you know, just me speaking as a man, but let me let my family members know down there that um, that whole shit that I've done was some bullshit. You know, he noticed he's an Israelite. He, he you know, pretty much knows we're going to rule. He's like, damn, our people now I've been down there for all I've been down there all that fucking time, wasting the time, wasting time. So saying all that, you know, coming up on this, this MOTB, this market of beauty and the beast is shit because they're going to start implementing that shit soon. It's got to be coming soon because World War Three, the third war was on the table too hard now. There's too much going on as far as like these um, these uh, uh, these countries, you know, Russia, Ukraine. Uh, uh, Israel, Gaza, Iran being pulled into the bullshit, North Korea, you know what I'm saying? All this stuff like that. So the third world is, is coming soon. But before that, they're going to have to implement that shit, man. They're going to have to come with that, that monetary fund to say, hey, all right, we need to do something else to, um, you know, and then people just complaining about everything anyway. You never know how they're going to do that shit because people can't afford nothing anymore. So they're going to come with that um, universal basic income pretty much overall, like food stamps. Get your ass to because most of our people, or at least um majority of our women, a nice majority, I would say. Got to say at least 50, 60 percent. Possibly damn near 70 percent of our women on food stamps or Section 8 or some type of um, assistance from the government. So guess what? So-called white man, he's going to come through and say, hey, you want to keep that? Then. You're going to have to um, let us put this. This is the way that it's rolling right now. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we come up with a new system and, and there's no turning back. There's no other way. You're going to have to let us put this implant into you. And that's the way that we're going to, you know, pretty much track things, track the food, track this, track that. Track. We need to track your children because they could possibly be kidnapped. Track their vaccines, track this, track, you know, because Esau got that God like complex like that. 
and, and a lot of our women, they're going to be the ones that's going to get caught up in that into that the most because why they've trusted in the, in, in the serpent. They've trusted in Esau. They've trusted in his way of life. They've trusted that he's the one that takes care of them as opposed to the Lord. They don't think about the Lord. They've used the so-called black woman to put the so-called black man through complete fucking hell here. That's why a lot of so-called black men are not even dealing with them no more. They're just like, man, fuck that. I ain't trying to deal with you. Walk all past you. They're not trying to date you no more. They're not trying to, and they damn sure not trying to take care of your, uh, your three or four kids, man. You know, Jake used to do shit like that with no problems. But you had the so-called black women. She didn't even appreciate that shit. But anyway, those are going to be the people that pretty much they're going to start on first as far as who they're going to be implementing this shit to. Because it's always us. When they get the one to test trial some shit, when they want to prototype some shit, it's always on you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans first. They're going to get you first. They're going to get them damn immigrants. You know? You want to stay in the country? Come take this. You want to eat? Come take this. They're going to do it with the goddamn prisoners. Because you're already um, owned by the fucking state. You want to get out a little bit earlier? Come take this. You know, we're going to set you up, you know. So we just never know how, how he's going to do it exactly. But we know that Esau Edom is slippery. He's a sneaky, conniving ass uh, um, 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 individual. And the scripture says to never trust thine enemy. For like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. See? Though we go crouching and humbling himself, that's what it says. It says to beware of him. Take good heed and beware of him. Our people don't do that, man. A lot of our people don't do that. They just like, oh, well, motherfuckers about to run around out here. They voted for Joe Biden that let him down. Now they ready to go vote for Trump that's going to let their asses down. If he wins. Which I'm, I'm, I'm I, 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 it's kind of up in the air. I'm kind of thinking more like they're going to throw Kamala that bone. But, man, it could be Trump. We'll see. You got about 50 days or so to see before your life completely changes forever, for real, for real. But... You know, I just wanted to touch on this, you know, to um, let our people know, hey, when they start to get to trying to push this, man, we're going to need complete and total trust in Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, because we're not going to be able to do anything. Because that scripture says that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the number of his name. See, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. You're not going to be able to go out and be like, oh, shit, let me go and get at least a couple of cans of beans. You know, you're not going to be able to do nothing other than probably barter some shit with somebody for a hot sack. You know, but even even something like that may become um, against the law. We caught you trading beans for tomatoes. That's against the law, you know, because they're going to want everybody in on the system. They're going to they're going to consider stuff like that to be illegal. I give you some sugar for some salt. No, nah, they, ain't, they ain't having none of that. And then the people that's going to go and take this thing, they're going to be on such a, they're going to feel as if they're on such a high pedestal that they're above you, you ones that don't. But the Lord is going to make a way. See, we're, we're trusting on you. How about you? Let's get, um, and I'm out just getting a walk, man. Walk and talk before I'm going to go to camp. Isaiah 31 and 1. It says, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because there are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. And that's what we're trying to do. That's what we want to do. Seek the Lord. We don't want to be running it behind Esau. Man, we had enough of this motherfucker, man. We've seen his his tricks. We've seen how he gets down. There's no use. Like, like what's the use in um continuing in and believing in this man? He <laughs> He has shown you for 500 years how he gets down. The Lord has brought this truth forth to the forefront. You should be grasping onto it, man. But, hey, what do our people do? They ride up and down the road, banging their damn music, talking shit, hoes walking by, you know what I'm saying? Ass cheeks out, talking shit, scoffing, you know? But the scripture talks about um, uh, uh, there will be scoffers and, and, and mockers in the last day. So we ain't tripping on that. We're just out there to get that message through. But... The ones that go down to Egypt, which this is going off into trusting in the enemy, trusting in um, anything other than the Lord. That's them. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much going down to Egypt for help. 
what do you think um um food stamps are what do you think um section eight housing and all that that that's our our women going to egypt for help they're going to our enemy for help what does our enemy tell them to do well okay we can help you but see it always comes with a but with him he's not ever just giving you something he's going to always come with a but but hey all right well you got to put the man out of the home that lets you know how wicked this motherfucker is man because why would you want you want a productive society you're supposed to be a government right you you supposedly want a, a productive society but you would tell women to not allow the man into the home to rear the children with the woman that lets you know man this man is the wicked man that lets you know right there that he's the goddamn devil and you can't trust this fucker man so lucky for the language just kind of get you a little, little up brow man you know what i'm saying because that's that's complete um, um de demonic man but what can you expect other than that from the, you can't expect nothing other than that from the devil and our women fell for it so now you're living in these last days and y'all are vulnerable as hell and there's nothing you can do about it and it's going to persist and it's going to get even worse so when this thing really 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 gets down because people you got people that's not going to go for this too so it's going to be uproars of the people it's going to be it's already a separation in the country those trump supporters they already own it and they don't believe in the damn bible nothing about the bible but they do know about that scripture and they're just going to feel like no that's government control see they don't want to be controlled but they want to control every fucking body right so you know i just wanted to just touch on a couple of scriptures man going off into that but mainly when it comes to your family that's going to be the test, so to speak. That's going to be a huge tester for our people because a lot of us are going to have family members that really depend upon their medicines. You know, they depend upon having that Section 8. They depend upon having those food stamps. They depend upon it. They're just not going to know what to do. I got uncles and aunties, you know, that's older. They're not going to know what to do. I got one uncle. I mean, he's into everything except for this newer technology, but he's not going to know, know what to do when it co all comes down to it. You know, I've spoken to him about the scriptures plenty of times, but he's not going to know what to do. He's sitting watching his motherfucking games. That's all he wants to do. So when 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 shit gets hits the fans, because see, motherfucker just just out here. I'm talking about man, man, man. It aggravates you, man, to see how they they think, but you can't do nothing about it can't force the truth on them you know you try and tell them and slip them little jews you know what i'm saying but man it, it you know can't throw can't keep throwing your pearls to the swine you you know the lord is going to show these niggas man the lord is going to show them like my uncle literally running around out here with a flip phone bro he got one of those old ass flip phones i'm like oh damn bro i've been telling him for decades now well new technology coming in you know get you a little smartphone you know, you don't have to be all off into it like that, but at least learn some of the stuff. I remember telling my dad that, you know, years back, way back. Well, dad, things are changing. You know, you're going to have to, um, you know, learn how to use some of these little technologies and stuff like that. You know, because we, we use the world and not abuse it. Right. So just a little tech right now. You know, we, we, we use it. Because we, you know, we're, we're surviving. But when this man comes straight down to the point of saying, oh, okay, well, now this new tech that you've been using all, all this time, we're going to have to put this shit in you. No, nope, that's where it stops. That's where it stops. You know? Yeah, we got debit cards and shit with um, chips in them. We got the, the damn phone got a chip in it. Yeah, we know that. But, motherfucker, you're not putting it in me. And that's what they're, they're conditioning the people to. Because a lot of people pay with Apple Pay. I see it all the time. I never used to see that shit in the hood. You know, especially, but it's this younger Jay. Those I see a few little, you know, a few um, older people that's kind of doing it, but it's really this younger generation of Jake. They don't have no cash on them. They just, you know, tap and pay with their phone. What's so fucking different than tapping and pay with your car? You see? I, I, me, personally, say for instance, if something was to go down as far as a hack, motherfucker, hack that goddamn bank card. I can at least call the bank. 800 number and say hey this motherfucker was tampered with or lost or stolen or whatever the fuck 
But now, you know, you tapping your damn phone up there. You don't know what information you get on these motherfuckers is generating out of your phone. See? But they're thinking that it's so damn easier for them to do this shit. And, and, and Esau trying to make it seem like as if it's a convenience. But motherfucker, the, the quickest you can... A lot, I be seeing motherfuckers, they be trying to tap their shit three, four times. Like, motherfucker, I could have had my, my debit card out at that point in the game. Tap that bitch, then pay, you know, give me a damn receipt, nigga, so I can see what you're really charging me, you know, and, 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 and go ahead and be on my day. But they trying to make it seem like, you know, with this, you know, you, th this right here is so much more convenient for you. Get the fuck out of here, man. What they're doing is they're conditioning your ass. And then they come up with laws where you got to comply. Well, other than that, you're not going to be able to move about in this community, man, or, or in the, in society. Because I remember when they was trying to stop. Um, and I think they're, well, still going to take them a minute on it. But I can remember when they was trying to stop the. Uh, I was telling my uncle about that way back then, too, when they was trying to stop the landline phones in your house. You know, the, the actual phone that's plugged into your damn wall on the wall in the house. They had a point where they were about to stop that shit. But the reason why they didn't stop it is because of people like him. You know, he wasn't even that old like that then. I mean, he's, he's you know, he's in his 60s. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he's he's pretty fit. You know what I'm saying? He moves about. He's not mentally, you know, ain't nothing going on with him where he can't use a damn uh, a smartphone. You know, it's just like all of us, you know, that when we have to learn how to use it, we we use it. But, you know, some of us kind of grew up in it. So it was a little easier. But I mean, you know, I'm just telling them at least shit, man. Hey, all you got to do is just play with it a little bit. You don't need all the damn functions, you know, but at least know some of that shit. At least know how to check a damn email. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but no, he really literally, literally got the, the flip. Um, I call it the AARP phone. You know what I'm saying? One of them old retirement phones. Like, bro, are you serious? And then he just ordered some internet. Um, and I'm like, well, what the fuck is you getting the internet for? You don't even have a smartphone. You don't know how to use none of that shit. He wanted to get the internet, you know what I'm saying, thinking that he's going to have all these sports channels and all this, that, and the third. I don't know what they told him, but I'm trying to help him hook it up and this, that, and the third. I'm like, well, shit, certain shit you need, man. You ain't even got a goddamn email. You know? What do you what? what and, and I'm like, well, look at, well, I, you know, scrolling through the shit. I'm like, well, shit, you got all these channels because he got an antenna and everything hooked up to it, too. Shit, you got a decent antenna with some um, Internet on a Roku TV. Shit, you balling out of control. As far as shows. He don't even want to even fuck with none of that. He's still watching the same three channels he was watching before. I'm like, man. Anyway, but what I was saying was they were about to get rid of the um landlines. And the government basically was like, well, no, we got elderly people that that rely on those um, services because they don't know how to use the um, the cell phones and stuff like that. That I remember that that was like when when shit was starting to roll in a while back, a couple of decades back. I remember that, you know, so they kind of stopped it. But they they kind of been raising that, raising that again. You know what I'm saying? That like, hey, let's go ahead and get rid of all this shit. We running out of phone numbers, We're running out of damn area codes. You know what I'm saying? Because they done tacked on. I remember we just had one area code here, pretty much um the Detroit area, three one three. It's always been that way. But now, man, there's so many motherfuckers. They done added on so many um area codes because there's so many people that's into this tech now. So many um cell phones. Some people got two or three cell phones. See what I'm saying? Some got four, you know, so they had to come up with new numbers, new area code numbers to make up for that. And they already got the tech to go ahead and put this shit in your ass, man, and turn it on. And you're not going to be able to buy or sell. But like, I, you know, I wanted to say is that when it straight comes down to it, don't fall for it, man, because your wife won't for it. Don't fall for it because your elderly mom need, um, you know, um, help or assistance. Don't fall for it because your elderly dad needs assistance. Well, it's the only way that they can eat. The only way that I can, you know, they can survive is that, you know, I get to, you know, and I got to take care of whatever the fuck. No, you're a caretaker. You got a, somebody in a wheelchair. You got somebody on oxygen tubes. I don't give a fuck. Leukemia. I don't care. 
You don't take that shit. And you rely on the Lord, man. Rely on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because the Lord will make a way if he, he know that you're sincere about it. But there's going to also be, you know, there, there's going to be people that's just not going to take it and, and that are going to resist just because, you know, they're, they're feeling like they're doing the right thing and they're not going to be doing it, you know, because of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And eventually their ass is going to either starve out or they're going to take it anyway. But when it comes to the men of the Lord, the men and women of the Lord, you know, that's into this truth. No, we're not to take that shit. We are to, to, to depend totally upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, so don't let none of your family members. I get it because we do love our people. But there's going to be a lot of people that's going to fall because they're going to choose their children over the Lord. They're going to choose their spouse over the Lord. They're going to choose their mom or dad over the Lord. They're going to choose a loved one of some, you know, capacity over the Lord or friend. You know? But the kids got to eat. All right, well, let's depend upon the Lord that's been providing us with food all this time anyway. But you've never given him credit. Because the Lord is the one that's been providing for us to begin with. But our people never give him credit. So you take your ass down to Egypt and, and, and get, get try and get some help. And it's going to be woe to you. No. So we're praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for mercy and strength. Because that's going to be a serious time, man. It's getting serious right now. It's already there. You know, but it just hasn't faced it. It's not face to face with Jake. So they don't really get it like that yet. Because Esau's coming down with great wrath, man. Scripture talks about because he know that he had but a short time, he's going to come down with that great wrath. So I'm gonna end out there, man. Just out, like I said, I'm about done with this little walk. I'm gonna go ahead and get set for camp, head out, see what the Lord got for us, man. So with that, pray that the lesson was edifying. Shalom. Come here, Charlotte, in the bubble ball.